Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a Lip Monthly bag. This is actually my first bag. I've never gotten Lip Monthly before. They got me because they had this coupon. Um, they have like an ad on Facebook. You can get your first bag for $5. And I think usually the bag is like $14 or something like that. And so since it was only $5, I went for it. I already canceled though because I have Ipsy and I don't need to like receive two subscriptions every month because I don't wear makeup like that much so but I'm addicted to subscriptions so anyway I got lip monthly I have not opened this yet so let's go ahead and see what's inside okay so first off before we open it the bag is kind of like ipsy but um it's smaller I guess and the quality to me isn't that good for being more expensive than ipsy this is the ipsy bag from that this month if you haven't seen it already and it's like a thick like material very nicely made and this one just seems kind of cheap and really like thin it's got a cute little design it's little clouds with faces on it but um that's just an observation I think the ipsy ones look a little bit better to me the first thing that I see, I did watch other people's lip monthly videos, so some of this may be the same as theirs, I'm not sure. So the first thing that we have is a lip balm by Lasting Smiles Lip Balm. It's organic, made with fair trade ingredients, and it's passion fruit and mango scented. It says, nourish your lips, nurture the world. Every purchase helps fund cleft surgeries for children. That's so cool that they're doing that. So I think this is really cool that it's in the box. Um, I'm not sure. I may give this away. I have so many chapsticks open right now. It's ridiculous. I literally have like a whole Ipsy bag full of chapsticks right now that are open. So I may uh, keep this. I'm not sure. All right. So the next thing we have is by Be A Bombshell. It's a lip crayon. And let's see what it looks like. All right, so I finally got it open, and this is the lip crayon. I'm not going to open this because, one, I don't really like red lipstick at all. It just, for me, I don't think it looks really good on my skin, like, with my skin tone. And um, I just, it's a lip crayon, so I feel like with lip crayons, you can never get that precise. And so, um, I'm not really a fan of this product, but I know I'm going to give this away to someone, so... And the next thing we have is this lip gloss. It looks kind of like, um, oh, not holographic, my bad. It's iridescent. It's by Hikari, I guess you say it. And it's in the color Mystique. So let me open this and I'll be right back. Okay, so this looks so cool. I don't know if you can see it in the lighting, but it's like green and blue and red. Like it just depends on which way you move it. So this is a super cool product. And let's go ahead and open it up. It doesn't really have a smell and let's swatch it hmm. so it kind of looks like a brownish color on my hand and let me try it on my lips okay so this is what it looks like you can't really see it it's got kind of a brownish tint to it and although it doesn't have a strong smell like the flavor is kind of weird it's kind of like I don't know like I don't really know but I don't I don't like the flavor does it taste like sunflower seeds I don't know it's kind of weird all right guys so the last thing I got is by Bella Pierre it's the kiss proof lip cream in muddy rose this does from the package look like a really pretty color so I'm gonna open this and then I'll be right back because I take forever to open things so here is the color it looks very beautiful but I've actually watched a few videos on this and everyone says that your lips stick together when you wear this. Like it doesn't dry down and your lips like stick together when you pull them apart and I'm not, I'm not down for that. <laughs> so I'm not going to open this and I'm going to give it to a friend. So really the only thing that I did kind of like I guess is this lip gloss by Hikari. It is very pretty like. The flavor does go away after a while, so I do want to get some use out of this since I put it on my lips already. Um, but if I would have known, I probably wouldn't have kept it. And I may keep this too, just so I can say I kept something from this bag. Because for me, this was not very good. I didn't really enjoy this $5 bag. I wish I would have saved my $5, honestly. forgot to show you, there's a little card. It says April 2019. Apparently, this is $20. So that's a lot. Um, this is $4, which that's not bad. 
Um, this Be A Bombshell lip crayon is $8, which that's also not too bad. And then this Hikari iridescent lip gloss is $19. I would never pay $19 for this. It's very pretty, like I said, but I would not pay $19 for it. There's other glosses you can get, um, I think, for much cheaper that look just fine. So, yeah, this was the April bag. I'm not getting another bag, and I'm kind of glad I'm not. I'd much rather my Ipsy. Um, not hating on Lip Monthly, though. Maybe next month will be great. But for me personally, this just didn't jive with what I like to wear on my lips. But yeah, so that's my thoughts on this April bag. Did you guys get the April bag? Do you like Lip Monthly? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, like this video if you like it, and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye!